Hello everyone, welcome to Infiga. In this very exciting video of polynomial equations, we are going to solve one cubic equation x plus 3 whole cube plus x plus 5 whole cube equal to 8. While solving this problem, we'll use algebraic identities, manipulation, quadratic equation, remainder theorem or synthetic division method and we'll conclude our result. I am going to solve using two methods. Let me begin with the first method which is using substitution. So let me write substitution. I am going to substitute see 3 and 5. So I am going to substitute x plus 4 equal to t. So I, it will become t minus 1 whole cube plus t plus 1 whole cube equal to 8. Now I will use the identity a minus b whole cube it is equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3ab a minus b. Okay so equation will convert a cube minus 1 minus 3a square b so I am writing directly minus 3t square and plus 3ab square. So it will become 3t. Similarly, the second bracket a plus b whole cube. So that identity is a cube plus b cube plus 3ab in bracket a plus b. So it will give us t cube plus 1 plus 3t square and plus 3ab square so 3t equal to 8 so it will give us finally 2t cube plus 3t square minus 3t square will be over minus 1 plus 1 will be over so what is left 2t cube plus 60 minus 8 equal to 0 okay so our equation will come out divide by 2 t cube plus 3t minus 4 equal to 0. Now I will use synthetic division method. As we can see if this is cubic polynomial or cubic equation then the coefficient sum 1 plus 3 that is 4, 4 minus 4 is 0. So t equal to 1 is obvious solution. So let me find out using synthetic division method the quadratic equation. So I will write 1, 0, 3, negative 4. I will write here the leading coefficient 1. Then I will multiply 1 times 1, 1, 1, 1 times 1, 1, 4, 4 times 1, 4, 0. So our factorization of this cubic equation will come out. If I will write it then it will become t minus 1 and second bracket these are the coefficient. So t square plus t plus 4 equal to 0. This is 0. That means t will be either equal to 1 or t will come out from here. If you will see we have to find out real solution. So this bracket will give us, if I will find out, find out discriminant. So that would be b square minus 4ac. b square is 1a square minus 4ac is 16. So it is minus 15 which is negative. So from here, from this quadratic part, I am getting complex value solution or complex solution. So we can reject this. So t equal to 1 is the only real solution of this cubic polynomial. And remember this thing, t is our substitution. So what I will do now, I will substitute the value of t. So I will write x plus 4 equal to t, that means 1. So the real solution which will come out, that is negative 3. We are solving for real solution. Okay, now second method I will show that is 
conventional method. So conventional method is simply expand a plus b cube, simply expand a plus b cube, find out cubic equation, then go for again remainder theorem. So if you will open this bracket, then you will write a plus b whole cube, a cube plus b cube plus 3ab. So let me write directly or let us write 3ab. So it will be 3 times 3x, x plus 3. Then again we can write x cube plus 125 plus 15x directly, x plus 5. This is our cubic expansion. So now we have to add, put that value equal to 8. So it will give us 2x cube, 125 plus 27, 152 plus, see it is 9x square plus 15x square, 24x square. Then we are having 27x plus 75x, 102x minus 8 equal to 0. I have taken minus 8 towards left. This is our second approach. Okay. So 2x cube plus 24x square plus 102x plus 144 equal to 0. Alright, divide by 2. x cube plus 12x square plus 51x plus 72 equal to 0. Now, using rational root theorem, what we will find out? The eligible possibilities factor of constant term. The constant number. This is constant. And see the leading coefficient is 1. So that value is plus minus 1. If you will write the factors of 72, then you will have the list is very big this time. Plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 4, plus minus 6, plus minus 8, plus minus 9, plus minus 12. Then we are having plus minus 18, plus minus 24. Then plus minus 36 and 72. Out of these eligible numbers, factors, we are having x equal to, if I will put negative 3, see what will happen, minus 27, then it will become 108, negative 3 square is 9, 12 times 9 is 108, 51 times negative 3, so that would be negative 153 plus 72. If you will add 108 and 72, 180, 27 and 153, 180. So this is giving us 0. It will work if factors are lesser. But see, once you are exceeding above 6 or 6, then that value won't match because that cube becomes 216. Maybe it is possible, but from general, we can use 1, 2, 3 and 4 most probable. So from here we can conclude x equal to minus 3 is our one solution. Again I will do the remainder theorem. So I will write minus 3. The coefficients of cubic equation 1, 12, 51, 72. Okay. So leading coefficient as it is. I will write 1. Then minus 3 times 1 minus 3. 9 minus 27, 24 minus 72, 0. So ultimately what we are getting? x plus 3 factorization I am talking about. And see this is one more quadratic equation x square plus 9x plus 24. So x equal to minus 3 is obvious solution. x square plus 9x plus 24 we can solve. This is we need to solve. x is equal to minus 3 is confirmed solution. So let's find out the solution. x is equal to minus 9 plus minus square root of b square 81 minus 96 4 times 24 over 2 minus 9 plus minus. See it is coming out complex. Which we can verify from the first solution also. 
सो इट इज माइनस नाइन प्लस माइनस आई टाइम्स रूट फिफ्टीन ओवर टू दीज टू सोल्यूशन आर कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड दिस वन इज रियल सो अवर रियल सोल्यूशन इज माइनस थ्री लेट्स वेरीफाई नेगेटिव थ्री द रियल सोल्यूशन सो आई विल राइट माइनस थ्री प्लस थ्री इन दिस इक्वेशन वी कैन वेरीफाई सो इट इज होल क्यूब माइनस थ्री प्लस फाइव होल क्यूब सो इट इज जीरो प्लस टू क्यूब विच इज योर आर एच एस एट ओके सो अवर रियल सोल्यूशन इज एक्स इक्वल टू नेगेटिव थ्री एंड दीज see these are two complex solutions i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video take care